Welcome to the world of Q. Imagine if you could see if your garage door is open just by looking at your keyboard, or if it's going to rain tomorrow, or if your friend is streaming on Twitch. This is all possible with Das Keyboard Q. In this video, we'll show you how to create your Q accounts, get notifications when something you want to know happens, and how to change the color of all your keys of your Das Keyboard by changing profiles. First, sign up for an account by clicking Sign Up on the top right-hand corner of your screen. Event notifications will appear on your keyboard. We call this the dashboard view. It is an exact mirror of what is displayed on your physical keyboard. When a notification is displayed on your keyboard, the Q button will turn green. Press the Q button on your keyboard and you'll be able to read the notification in the signal center. Alternately, if your Q app is open, the dashboard mode will show the signal in a pop-up window when you mouse over the key where the signal is. To read the details, Click on the Open icon or on the Q icon on the top right. Once the signal center is open, clicking on the I icon will show the signal details. When you are done, you can dispose of the signal by clicking on the trash can icon. This will also remove the signal color on your physical keyboard. Now let's configure more signals. We all know sitting at a desk all day is not ideal from a health standpoint. So let's get a signal every hour to remind us to stand up and walk around. You can do this with pre-made IFTTT applets. IFTTT is a third-party service that makes it easy to configure DAS Keyboard Q. You can access the pre-made applets by clicking on the plus icon on the top right. You will need to log into your IFTTT accounts or create a free one the first time you access it from the Q Signal Center. Here are some applets to choose from. For example, this one can be used to get a notification when a Twitch stream starts. Okay, so let's create our signal. Select the Stand Up pre-made applet to activate. For minutes past the hour, we'll select 15 minutes. For the zone, this is where we select the key we will light up. I will select Tab. For the color, you'll have to enter a color in hexadecimal. You can do a simple search on Google, like this, to get the color. In this case, we'll choose a pure red and copy this hex code. And then paste it. For the effect, we'll choose blink. Now that your signal is configured, notifications will appear on your keyboard when they trigger. If you don't find what you need from the existing applets, we made specific videos to configure IFTTT and Zapier, which is another third-party service, with custom events. Programmers can also use the DAS Keyboard QREST API. Links are below in the video description. One last thing. In our video, all the keys are blue. This is called the keyboard profile color. Notifications are superimposed on top of the profile color. To change this blue color, click Edit on the top and select a different profile. Remember, if you use a rainbow type of profile or anything that's super colorful, it's going to be challenging to distinguish it from the signals that arrive on top of it. So we recommend a darker profile color for an optimal experience. For overachievers, you can change color key by key by using the toolbar below. This will be explained in another video linked in the description as well. Now you know how to create signals and change the color of your keyboard. We hope that you and Q will do some really cool things together.